Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video, we will see what is confusion matrix in machine learning. So before moving forward, it is better to learn it through an example. So let's consider an example here where we want to build a model which predict given all the conditions of the patient we want to predict whether the patient is going to test positive or negative. So this is our task right and now let's talk about how we evaluate or how calculate whether our model is doing fine or not so for that we use this confusion matrix now there are certain terms in confusion matrix that might be confusing so we are going to talk about that and after this video i am sure won't have any confusion anymore. So let's get started. So here we have the predicted classes and we also have the actual classes of the patient. So here if you see we have this predicted positive and these are the actual positive. So these are actual classes in red and in green here have predicted classes by our model now there is something called as true positive so what is true positive so true positive is when when your model has predicted positive that the person is test positive and in reality as well the patient is positive so this is your true positive then we have something called as true negative so true negative is when when your model predicted that the person is going to test negative and in actuality the person test negative so this is our true negative class then we have something called as false positive now what is false positive so false positive is when the model predicts that the patient is going to test positive but in actuality person has tested negative in actuality person is negative the model predicted positive so this is your false positive then we have something called as false negative now what is false negative when your model predicts that the person is going to test negative but in actuality person is positive that case is known as false negative so we have talked about all these terms and i am sure that you are now don't have this any more confusion with true positive true negative false positive and false negative all right now there are two errors here that we are making right this is false positive we also call this as type 2 error and then have false negative this is known as type 1 error now what is type 1 error and type 2 error and which is of utmost important for us so here if you see our model is predicting that the person is negative but in actuality person is positive so this is our type 1 error and this is of utmost importance why because we are, our model says that the person is negative but in actuality the person is positive then there are chances that this person might not receive any medication right this is a of utmost important for us so we want to commit as low as possible this false negative classes this should be as low as possible then we have this false positive or type 2 error right so this is when we are predicting that the person is positive but in actuality that the person is negative so this is our type 1 error and type 2 error now there are certain metrics that we can 
draw from this confusion matrix here so let's talk about that so here we have something called as accuracy score so what is accuracy score so it is given by true positive plus true negative that is our positive prediction our true predictions all right so true positive plus false negative and all divided by all divided by all the cases that is true positive plus false negative plus false positive plus false negative so this is your accuracy score here then we have something called as recall now what is recall recall is when out of all the positive cases how many our model was able to correctly identify so how many actual positive do we have we have true positive plus false negative right these are our actual positive now out of this actual po positive how many we were able to correctly identify that is our true positive so recall is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative all right now we have something called as precision now what is precision so out of all the predicted positive classes out of all the predicted positives how many are actually positive right true positive so what is predicted positive it is true positive plus false positive right these are our predicted positive and out of this predicted positive how many are actually positive that is true positive so this is our precision then we have something called as this classification rate and it is given by 1 minus accuracy score so you can find the accuracy score then subtract it from 1 and you will have a this classification rate now we have talked about all this matrix evaluation matrix in machine learning that is drawn from this confusion matrix all right now let's take an example here all right so let's take an example here we have true positive and false negative false positive and true negative and also we have given the values that is we have true positive 50 cases false negative 5 cases false positive 25 cases and true negative 70 cases total of 150 patients are there in our study all right now find the accuracy score what we do formula is true positive 50 plus plus true negative which is 70 right true positive plus true negative all divided by true positive plus false negative plus false positive plus true negative and it comes out to be 150 so this is our accuracy score which is equals to 0 0.8 next we have let's calculate the misclassification so here after cal calculating the accuracy score it becomes very easy to calculate the accuracy misclassification rate here right it is given by 1 minus accuracy score that is 1 minus 0 0.8 it comes out to be 0 0.2 here so this is our misclassification rate now let's calculate the recall so what is the formula of recall this true positive right which is 50 plus true negative sorry it is true positive by true positive plus false negative so it comes out to be 0 0.90 this is our recall score now let's find out the precision so precision is given by true positive which is 50 divided by true positive plus false positive that is our predicted positive 
which comes out to be 50 plus 25 and here our precision is 0 0.66 so our recall is higher and our precision is low here so i hope now you understand this confusion matrix how we draw this confusion matrix and how we calculate the different matrix that is accuracy score best classification rate call and precision so thank you for watching this video for many such videos subscribe to our youtube channel and also press the bell icon so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video thank you